A landing page is a great way to sell your product or service in a very focused, direct way. It can be especially useful for paid ads and social media marketing strategies. You can tell your customer exactly what to do and easily measure how well your messaging is working. Today, I'm gonna to show you a really easy way to make landing pages using Elementor Pro templates. Okay, here we are on the WordPress dashboard and the first thing we're gonna do is make a page for your landing page. So mouse over pages on the left-hand side and then go to add new. We can just close out of this block editor stuff and then we're gonna make a title for our page. So I would title this with whatever you're selling with the landing page. I'm selling a new business bundle. And next what we're gonna do is we are going to make sure that the template is a template that's gonna allow Elementor to take over the entire page. It's even gonna take over your uh, navigation because ideally your landing page isn't gonna have your normal website navigation because you wanna make it really clear what you want the user to do and having your regular navigation is gonna confuse them and they're not gonna follow the path that you want them to follow. So click template over here on the left, make sure page is selected up top, not block, and then click the template drop down. And then from here, you're going to choose Elementor Canvas. If you don't have Elementor Canvas as an option, make sure you have Elementor installed and activated. Then I want you to hit the permalink drop down, just a little bit below that and you'll see your URL slug here. Now, this is so important for landing pages because you're gonna be sharing the link to this page on its own often. So this is gonna be visible to the people that you wanna visit your site. So I would really make sure here that this URL slug is something that describes what you're selling. Now, it automatically takes your title, so if your title is the name of the product or service you're selling, then it should automatically make one. Notice there can't be spaces here, which is why WordPress automatically puts dashes in between the name, and ideally your URL should be in all lowercase. So WordPress automatically makes that happen also. Now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and hit the publish button, and then click publish again. And now that the page is live, go ahead and click the edit with Elementor button. Now here we are with a nice, clean, empty page to build our landing page on. So the easiest way to do this is gonna to be to use one of the Elementor templates. To do that, click this little icon right here with the folder on it. And the first thing that pops up is the Pages tab, which shows all the full page templates. Now this is what we're gonna work on, but before we do that, I do wanna show you that you can click on the Blocks tab and you can build this page from scratch if this is something you were interested in doing by choosing the different blocks um, and the different sections in the drop down menu. But we're gonna use a full page template. So go back to pages and in the search bar type landing. And right now this is gonna come up with all the landing page templates available to you through Elementor. Anything that has a little pro a uh, box at the top right of it is going to be a pro level landing page that you need Elementor Pro with. And I definitely would suggest that because you're gonna have a lot more options, but there are free versions here as well. So go ahead and scroll through and pick the landing page design that you like best. If you wanna preview it before you decide to import it in your page, you can just mouse over and click the magnifying glass icon and it will come up in another window and then you just can hit back to library if that this isn't one you like after you scroll through it. And sometimes it, it gives you, it, it takes away your search when you go back that way, which is kind of annoying. So you are gonna have to search landing again to get back to the landing pages, but go ahead and go through this and pick which style you like the best. I really like this one down here, this coaching page. So I'm gonna click this insert link and then here it is right on your page. You can scroll down and see that all the elements that you saw in the preview are here and they are now able for you to edit them. 
So next I'm going to talk about some of the elements on this page, why they're important, and possible other things that you can add on to this landing page that might not be included in the template you chose. So this big image at the top of your page and this text and this form is called the hero section of your website. In general, this should have a picture that gets your users excited about your product or services, some text clearly and easily and quickly saying what it is that you do, and a call to action. So we have all that here. You are going to want to make changes to make this your own, which of course you can do easily using Elementor. If we scroll down a little bit here to the next section, we have some easy to understand icons and blurbs about the different features of whatever it is you're selling. So this is great because what happens is somebody visits your landing page and if they're sold already on your product or your service, they're going to go ahead and fill out the form up top. If they're not and if they need more information, they're going to start scrolling. So when they do, make sure you're giving them the information they need to make them move from uh, somebody that's interested in your service to one of your customers or your clients. Which is why when you scroll down, we have a little about section. Now it's really important that you talk about um, who you are, who your business is, and why somebody should trust you enough to fill out that form, give your information, potentially buy your product. Even if someone's just putting in their email address, they don't really wanna put it in unless they know you and they trust you and they can get a feeling that you're not gonna spam their email boxes. Next thing we see that is incredibly important for landing pages are testimonials. Again, this is super big for trust and I feel like a lot of landing pages skip this step, um, but it is incredibly important. I'm really happy Elementor does include it in their landing page templates. And then we scroll down and we see another call to action button. And this button, when you click it, it should jump you right back up to the top of the screen and this form here. Now you have a couple options. You can also always you know, uh, copy this form, this section, and bring it on here instead so they don't have to jump up. Uh, if you do want to jump up, you will have to make an anchor link up here, which you can do by going to widgets and going to anchor, menu anchor, and you can put this up here. And then when you put in an ID for the menu anchor, like you say top, for example, and then down here for this link, you just keep that hashtag, keep that pound sign there, and then just put top next to it. And then when you click this button, it's going to jump up there. Let me show you. We're gonna click this preview changes button right here. It's gonna open another page. And if you scroll down and you click this button, it jumps up to the top. So that's great and very important that there is a call to action section at the bottom of the page. It should definitely be there because if somebody scrolls through the whole page, then they're like, that's it, I'm sold. You gotta make it real easy for them to give you your, their information or to buy your product or to do whatever, whatever action it is you want them to do. But now I'm gonna add on just a couple extra things to this template that Elementor didn't include and I think they should. First of all, Two call to actions are great, but I really like to throw a third one in the middle of the page as well. So we're gonna right click here, and then we're gonna hit duplicate, and then we're gonna drag this. Mm, I, think, I think I want it to be right here, right under about the therapy. So now when they go through the page, they have the call to action here, and they learn about your service or product, and then they have a call to action here, and if they're not sold, they get some, some trust from these testimonials and then they scroll down and they have another call to action. But I wanna do a little bit more to educate um, my website users if they're still unsure when they hit the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna add a frequently asked questions section. So I'm gonna mouse over and click this plus um, icon right here to add a section and then open up the templates dialog box again by clicking this um, folder icon circle to add a template and now we're gonna go to boxes instead of pages. And then on this drop down here, we're gonna pick FAQ and then you can just pick whichever FAQ style you like best to put in your page. I'm going to do this one, I think. And then of course you can make changes 
to the colors and the text as necessary. Another thing I want to add to this page for my specific product is a pricing list. So this is going to be a bundle of services for people that are starting new businesses. So I want people on this page to see what is available in the bundles and how much it costs. So since this is pretty important, I want it to be the first thing people see after the hero section. So we're going to click add section again, back to the templates dialog box and back on the blocks page. And we are going to choose pricing this time around. Now for me, my package is going to have three different options and I want to give a little information about it. I want to show all the features. So I'm going to use this one here in the top, right? You should know that these pricing plans, this specific widget and layout is a pro only feature. So you can only do this specific part if you have Elementor Pro, which I do. So I'm going to press the insert button. So that's it. I've got the basic layout ready for my landing page. So the only thing that's left is to go in, change the styles, change the pictures, change the copy and make it your own. So it matches specifically to sell your product or service. And as always, don't forget to click update. Then you can click the menu over here and then view your page and you can see all of your changes right here live on your website. If you are building your own website, make sure to check out my description below. I have a link to a free new website checklist that you can use to make sure you're not missing anything. And if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.